how's it going? It's uh, FBR, Farm Boy Reef here. So, so on today's episode, I'm going to be building an algae scrubber. Uh, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step of all the parts you're going to need and tools you're going to need to build your own algae scrubber. Um, so this one I'm actually going to build for a friend down in Miami. That's uh, for Pines 841. Uh, this one's for you, buddy. I told you I'd make you uh, your own algae scrubber, and I'll ship that down to you. So this one actually is going to be yours, man. So we're going to build that here tonight. Um, so I'm going to show you the parts we're going to need and detail of how you're going to build this. So, okay, guys? Okay, guys. So the first first steps we need to do, so we've got all our PVC. i got everything set up, what we're going to use here in tools-wise. So first thing, you're going to need this mesh. Um, you can get this like at any Michaels. It's like a dollar. This is what the algae is going to grow on. Um, so this is for pines there, buddy. So he, he told me his is nine and a quarter. So I cut this uh, nine, and nine inches, a little bit smaller, so it fits in his uh, refugium. So I cut that. So next thing you're going to need is a piece of uh, PVC pipe. So I measured my nine inches on here for him. Um, I have a cap for the end so it doesn't leak. Uh, the other, so the other part of the PVC we're going to use, I got him, uh, I got him a ball valve. So now he can adjust his flow onto the screen as well. Um, I got him a union fitting. So now he can unhook his screen to clean it every week. He can scrape it and then uh, put it back together. I'll show you how that works after. And I'm going to put a 90 on here for him. And then I'm going to put this cap. So this is where he can hook his, uh, his pipe to it to feed it with a pump to feed out of his uh, refugium uh, in his sump. And then he can adjust his flow and the water will flow down on this. Um, the tools you're going to need for this project is a pair of a pair of cutters to cut your PVC. This has a really nice edge on it, so you don't need to be sanding or anything like that. Um, you're going to need a measuring tape to measure you measure your pieces to cut with. You're going to need a marker to mark all your spots. You're going to need scissors so you can cut your screen. You're going to need zip ties so you can attach your screen to your PVC. I'm going to show you that stuff here in a minute. And you're going to need a little a little drill here. You're going to have to cut a slit in the PVC to slide your screen inside of it. Um, you can get these little uh, the little cut blades here at Princess Auto. They're like fourteen dollars for a pack. They work pretty good. A little Dremel kit works great. And you can pick this Dremel kit at like any Canadian Tire for like fifteen dollars. And then you're going to need some glue. I got the glue that has the PVC uh, primer in it, so it's less one step that you got to do. All right, so that is pretty much all the tools you're gonna, oh yeah, and I just got this blade. So what we're gonna wanna do later is we're gonna rough this up so it has it has some texture to it and then it has something for the algae attached to and grow. All right, so now let's, we're gonna start cutting up all the pieces here and start putting this together, all right? So let's get started guys on the algae scrubber for pines out in Miami, buddy. Okay, so he sent me a picture of his uh, sump. He said it was nine and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the plastic mesh, I'm making it nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure here, off here 9 inches. This is my end cap, so I'll just keep that on the end. We know how much room that's going to take. Let's show you guys here. And then I'm going to measure 9 inches, and I made my mark. So I made my mark here. You guys can see the marks. So from here to here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our black marker, and we're going to start from this point here to this point to our 9-inch mark. We're going to draw a black line. All right, so let's let's do that together. Let's just make sure we got our nine inches. I don't cut past it. Okay, so it's here and here. So I'm gonna mark to here and mark to here. So now we got our, our nine inches. So now I'm gonna just take freehand this, get it the same like you're measuring, and we're gonna go measure right down the middle. Just take your time, measure a straight line right down the center. So this is where this is gonna be the crease where we're gonna drill. We're gonna take our Dremel and we're gonna drill this right out here. So what's gonna happen is this fabric is gonna slide right inside the pipe. Make sure it's gonna be good. It's gonna set that right in the pipe. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our, our Dremel. Make sure you wear your safety glasses for this. So we're gonna start up our Dremel and we're gonna drill this, cut this right center right here. This thing works the best you can cut a nice straight line. So just take your time so you get a nice perfect because you don't want to go past it too much because then you'll have too much water leaking. So you just take there. Do that. So we'll just shut our Dremel off for a minute. Now we'll just we're gonna test our fabric and see if it's gonna fit inside. Make her precise. 
there, and this is how our fabric's gonna sit through the PVC. So when we run the water through the PVC, it's gonna run on the screen, and this is where we're gonna grow our algae. All right, so we got that part cut. So the next thing we're gonna do, just clean this up a little bit. So we know that's good to go. So we'll just set to the side for now. Um, so now we're gonna measure for our, fit, our, our, for our union fitting. So we know it's, I wanna leave a little past here, so it's gonna, this part is gonna sit over the refugium. So I just, I measured here, so I know it's gonna be like half an inch. So you're gonna take your cutters. I'm gonna put this on the half inch mark. With these cutters, you can just go around. So you can just go right this around, just score it. And then just put a little bit more pressure, and then go flip. See that? Look at that, so now that, that's a perfect cut. We don't need to put sandpaper in here and sand it all. So now we can take our union fitting, stick that on like that. See, so when Pines wants to, when this is all full of algae and he wants to clean it, he just has to unloosen this. It'll be cool, whoop. And then he can just take this off the aquarium, like that, and he can still leave everything else hanging. So I'll just put that back together. So now we got the union fitting. So the next thing we're gonna cut, we got our union. Now I wanna attach uh, a ball valve for him so he can adjust his flow. See the ball valve inside? Like that, he can adjust his flow onto this. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna put this together. We know that these reach, like inside them, there are, one is pipe going inside. So we're gonna take our leftover PVC. There's one inch on this side, one inch, we're gonna go two, a piece like two inches. And you can go like this too and you can measure. So like an inch. So the next thing, you're gonna cut that as well. We're gonna fill that in. So again, whoop, there she goes. I'll just cut another one. Like that. Just score it. There you go. So now we look at nice and clean again. No more of that. So we know that's gonna fit. So you stick that in your union, and then we can stick this, put the ball valve on there. So now we have our ball valve, our union, and then our, our pipe for our screen. So he can adjust his, uh, adjust his flow. After that, I'm gonna put a 90 for him. So we're gonna 90 down, so you can, he can hook his piping to it, put the 90, so next thing again, we know we need about, we can go like this, we know we need about an inch and a half, so we're gonna score that again. So just take your, and just score it up. Give it one score around, cut it, watch this apply. So again, nice clean cuts. So just, we're gonna just put this together for you quickly. So like that, and then he'll get his 90. So now we got a 90, a ball valve, and then I'm gonna score another piece, inch and a half. So if you measure this out, say inch and a half, right here, and put a mark. Again, score around and cut. There we go. Nice clean cut again. So we're gonna add this piece to the 90. So it's good to pre-cut everything before we glue it. So now we're gonna put this here in the 90. So it's like this, guys. So now we're, we're almost getting our LG scrubber all built here. Now we're gonna use the this part here, this part is where he's gonna hook his piping on. You can put a little clamp on here from the pump and this is what, we put this on here. So there we go. So now this is gonna feed the algae scrubber from his pump, feed through here to the ball valve and the ball valve will keep the, the flow, or the kind of find a flow he wants on this. So we know we got that, that's all rigged up now. And then, like I said, the end cap, we measured for the end cap, so the end cap will go on there. So now we're looking at Pines 841 algae scrubber so far. So all we have to do now is glue this up and add in the, the screen. All right, so let's do that now. Let's do some gluing. Put everything aside. So we're gonna get a glue. This glue here is uh, eco-friendly glue. Um, this stuff has primer built into it already. So let's start with the end cap. So we're gonna put some glue on the inside. I like to just double glue it. Put some glue on the inside. I'm gonna put some glue around the outside. And then you're gonna put this on, push it on, push it on, and then you're gonna twist it, give it a twist. There you go, so that makes complete seal. All right? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue, we're gonna glue the union fitting. Same thing again. I'm gonna put some glue on the inside. I'm gonna put some glue on the edge of the end of the algae scrubber. Next thing, we're gonna push that in again. Give it a, try to give it a turn. Give it a complete seal. So we're good there again. Now, we're gonna pull out the piece that we stuck inside the ball, though. Pull that back in. She's in there pretty good. 
So the next part we're going to glue, we're going to glue our little piece here into the ball valve. So put some more glue into the ball valve area. I like to overkill it. Never know, right? And then put a little bit on this one. Shove that in. Give it a tap to shove it in. Next, glue this up. Put a little glue on there. Put a little glue on our ball valve. I'm hooking you up pines with all the good stuff here, buddy. Just like I do it to mine. We're gonna shove that on, give that a twist as well. Just wipe away the excess here. I got a little excess going on. So now we got the ball valve and we have his uh, union fitting. See you guys? So ball valve union fitting all glued and end caps glued. So next we're gonna add his 90 to the other end of this that's glued in. So I'm going to show you, I just did a little mock up here for you guys. I'm going to show you how it works, explain how it works. And then uh, this is going off to Miami to you, Pines, buddy. I built this for you. She's custom built. So let's check her out. Yeah, I'll just show go over you. here, guys. So this is my mock up, just like it was hooked into your fridge, you know. I just got a couple pails of water here for just for testing. Um, so this is the algae scrubber we just built together, guys. So we have our screen where the algae is going to grow here, where the water is going to trickle down here very slowly, and the light is going to feed the algae. So as the... The light is feeding the algae. The algae is going to eat all the nitrates and phosphates out of your tank. So it's just going to be like, keep circulating. It's going to keep eating. So like in a week time, you'll have like a whole bunch of like, different kinds like green, pink, all kinds of different algaes on there. So you're going to scrape that off. So it's handy because I put the union fitting in there and he, the way he's going to mount it under his cabinet. Um, so yeah, so this is what a little bit of a mock-up. So pretend that's the sump. We got our algae scrubber and the light that's going to feed it. So you can run the light, the, the opposite of uh, what your uh, tank is upstairs. That'll help with your pH level as well. So this is it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on here. So we, we turn our valve on. We can pick any uh, speed we want. I'm just gonna let her flow here, get them cleaned out for them. But you can see how the water's trickling. So over time, you know, like in your uh, three tanks, wherever, when on the glass, algae starts to grow. But this is where you want permanent algae to grow. Remember we roughed it all up. That's where all the algae's gonna grow. So this is, we got our, where we hooked on here, he could put a little clamp, and there's the pump. So that, that's it. So an algae scrubber just uses the waste that's in your tank and helps to clean your uh, water naturally. And I have one, I'll show you guys uh, how it looks. But this is, the, this is like the easiest way to build an algae scrubber. I really hope it helps you guys. So this is for you, Pines 841 out in Miami, buddy. Just gonna send me your address, and I'm gonna ship that down to you. Plus, uh, everything you see here, like the piping and that little pump right there, I got an extra one. I'm going to give that to you too. I'm going to give you the pump, I'm going to give you the pipe, I'm going to give you everything. So you got a whole kit, all you have to do is when you get it home, set it right up, man. All right, guys, hope you really enjoy it. Let me know. Just shit me your address down. So that's the homemade algae scrubber. I hope you guys like it. I'm just going to show you what the what, uh, Pines algae scrubber is going to look like. My algae scrubber, pretty nasty, eh? So that's my light. I was just on the mock-up over there but same thing I got the unit fitting I got everything so this is it just is cleaning my tank naturally you can just see all the different colors of algae so Pines 841 buddy this is what yours could look like and that's clean it naturally this is my scrubber and so I'm gonna be building the three foot scrubber this is my 75 gallon I call this uh, this is my algae tank it's all it is it's just to grow algae in it to clean my tank for the 220 gallon upstairs so that's it, guys. That's the, that's the homemade algae scrubber, guys. I hope it helps you. Um, if you guys need any help with anything, just hit me up. Leave a comment. More than how happy to talk to you guys. Hit me up on Facebook. I'll talk to you guys how to build it or anything you need to do. But I find this system is a really good system for cleaning your tank. It's naturally, you're adding no chemicals or nothing. So this is the homemade algae scrubber. I hope it helped. This is for you, Pines. I'll be shipping that out. Just hit me your address. It was fun making it for you. I love uh, DIY making things. So. If you guys really like this episode, uh, please leave your comments, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll move on to the next episode. All right, guys, thanks here from Fireboy Reef, and uh, on to the next one. She's coming out soon there, buddy. I'll ship her out this week.